Hello everyone, uh, we are just back in the car there, I've just had a little toddle around the terminal, my poor long suffering lady wife is holding the camera, say hello everyone Rachel. Hello everyone. Oh my days, see there is hope, people who like ferries can still get married, I don't know how it happens, but yet we're here with what feels like half of Northern Ireland waiting aboard this ferry, um, it's Maundy Thursday, like the day before Good Friday, and it's absolutely heaving. I know there's two free lanes here, um, but it's absolutely heaving, and the ferry's running behind just due to volume of traffic, basically. Stenoline just sent a text, which is good, that's how they work, they send a text and they send an email. Um, I was actually quite impressed because a 15 minute delay to me, especially when you fly EasyJet from Belfast, um, is nothing and um, yet they still sent a text which i thought was absolutely class and um, but yeah just had a little look around in there nice facilities nice little area outside that you can sit and watch the ferry the problem though is you don't really get very good views of the ferry rachel isn't it true haven't haven't i been pulled by the police for standing on the rocks over there before Correct. That is correct. See, I'm not just being a bad boy and lying to you. Uh, so basically, the best view that we've got, the ferry is miles away over there. That's the only downside to a, what is a lovely ferry terminal. Anyway, I will see you when we're boarding.
this way. We are just by the big boy engine. There is one other person now on deck over there. I need a 
of shame. This is a disgrace. Is anybody out here? It is an absolutely lovely evening. It's really, it's not like, it's not freezing cold at all. It's not like boiling hot either. Um, but we are just about to set sail out the top of Loch Ryan there. Um, so this is the delayed 1930 sailing. Probably gonna slow well, it's 22 now, probably five more minutes. I think that is the last of all of the vehicles coming up, but yeah, you can see it's absolutely deserted there. Um, and they've got the ship to shore ramp for the top deck um, up already there. Um, but I think, you no, know, shorter ship ramp. That one's a shorter ship ramp. But downstairs, I think for the deck we came on, deck three, it is a ship to shore ramp. So the ship has the ramp on it that lowers down, I think, where it, which is different to the, the P&Os, which have all got um, shorter ship ramps. Nobody cares. Why do I tell you this thing? Nobody cares. Only I care. Uh, but basically, they've got cow catchers on the front, whereas this doesn't look like it's got a cow catcher on. Um, therefore, it must have. It's got clamshells at the front, and it'll have a ramp that comes out there. But there we go. Uh, some lovely diesel. Thank you so much, Lord, for blessing us with peril and diesel. An amazing thing that we shouldn't forget. Um, this is going to economically sail us probably up to about a thousand people. I think it can. Is it one and a half thousand people can actually get on this bad boy? I'm gonna to have to check that while I, it'll be on your screen now, I'll have to check that. In fact, it'll probably not be on your screen, screen. I can't be bothered to edit this out. I am absolutely buzzing it. It's uh, just going over for Easter. Uh, it's a uh, good Friday tomorrow. There's nobody out here. Everybody's screaming. It's what I'm gonna do. Now, Rachel, I see the house right in the front. I don't know how close to get that as well. Uh, it does seem there's a lot of freight on the of it's unaccompanied and um, but there's not as many people as there are on the sort of three hundred sailings that normally happen here but this is quite if you just look here this is quite a new port and um, they used to sail stena line used to sail from strata which is at the bottom of Loch Ryan. when these ships were introduced i think it was 2011 and um, they built this new port here because it was more economical to close down the port in strand raw to build a new port here because they had bigger ferries the Stena Superfast that they had and they would have to keep dredging Loch Ryan down the bottom and also the added time of a longer a longer passage, a longer voyage down to Strand Raw it actually made more sense to build a port so the port is just a little bit technically so people say this is Ken Ryan in Belfast it is but this is Loch Ryan port Ken Ryan port is the P&O one just down there they've been there since the 70s I think it is um, but yes we can just see right up there I'll do some better shots of it in the passage but it's a good evening I'm going to go out though on the sunny side thank you so much for watching I'm sure you're not enjoying it Highest rated members of the Stena fleet, the Stena Superfast, eight and uh, seven on the eight today. Amazing, beautiful ferries. Yeah. 
seven minutes to So nice. <coughs> After our lovely din dins, I'm back out on deck to be greeted by the Senna Super Fast 7. It is that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So the Stena Nordica is coming to replace us, I think. I think it's no, it's that one. It's going to replace that one there while it goes in for a dry dock. As you can see, light on, out on deck just yet because the sun's still out on the other side. And there's Virgin Old Island, there's Lighthouse Island down there, Dominica D, there's Banga, and straight ahead there, you can see is a historic Fergus. Sweet. Just leave with no idea. The 
just sitting watching football. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wouldn't get them ones to, to be fair. And that there is the Nordic Spa. The windows on this thing, they look blacked out, but they're not. You can see right through them. Oh my days. a bit cool. Right at the end, there's the moon again. I'm absolutely obsessed. Uh, just lo looking over um, the aft. Is that, is that right? Yes. The back of the ship. The aft. The back. Um, it was quite a nice, chill little place. As it's going down here. But, um, this is where they keep all the lifeboats, and then you've got your life rafts there. Um, disguised. Disguised poorly as seen over here <laughs> we've got loads and loads of life jackets probably i think that's what they've got yeah. under there you've got their big they've got proper life boats here as well um don't know don't think it has an mes a marine evacuation system um one of the european highlander does but the causeway doesn't uh, but this for me there's the davit so a davit is the i mean you can exactly see what a davit is um, it's a little crane that lowers the life rafts down. I mean, it, it, get, it, it, it always strikes me how can you do that in a storm and the boat is sinking? Like, oh yeah, we'll just get the we'll get the life rafts, we'll get the dam it, we'll just uh, move the crane out. Everyone, like, really, is that going to happen? I don't know. I don't know. But it is a beautiful evening just to be out on deck. I'm just going to sit and chill on. Life jacket area, sit here for a bit, put your feet up.
nice things about this city is um, the port. Centre. Um, so yeah, just gonna enjoy these last few moments. If you've been enjoying the video so far, please give it a like. You need to get a like if you do enjoy this, like me. Um, but if you if you did like it, give it a like and uh, drop a subscribe. Thank you. 